Hello, Kid Pack, and welcome to Nerdos Tales. Oh boy, today I got a story for you in the Bible about a miracle, and it is called the Blind Booger. <laughs> Nerdo. Yeah. It's Beggar. Booger. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, this is going to be funny. So I've collected some words from Kid Pack. They've submitted these words in. So it's a person, place, or a thing. And here's what they are. Larry, taquitos, booger, gorilla armpit, floss, like a floss dance, great googly moogly, walnut, and boot scooted. Okay, this is going to be good. Let's just dive right in here. This is going to be funny and probably a lot better than something Pastor Lance has got to say. <laughs> okay, here we go. Once there was a man who could not see. His name was Larry. I don't remember a Larry. Oh, well. He had a very hard time growing up because he was completely blind since the day he was born. He would sit around town and beg for money and beg for food and beg for taquitos. Hey, taquitos. Yep, that's right. Anyway, one day Jesus and the apostles came by and they saw this man. The apostle said, hey, would you look at that booger? Nerdo, it's beggar. Oh, yeah, yeah, booger, yeah. Jesus saw that little booger sitting there, so he walked up to him and get this. He spit on the ground, a big old loogie. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and he made some mud. He picked up the mud and wiped it on the man's eyes. How rude is that? Could you imagine that? Picture yourself at church. You go and get ready, go to get prayed for. The pastor goes and says, okay, come over here. Gets a big old glob of mud and splat all over your eyeballs. Anyways, Jesus said to the man, go wash in the pool of Siloam. Here's a fun little fact. For those of you who are not scholars like myself, <laughs> the word Siloam actually means gorilla armpit. Nerdo, it huh? does not. It really means scent and... I, you, you just hush! You are the camera guy. You're not part of my story. It's Nerdo's tales and I'll tell it like I want. Whatever. <clears throat> hush. <clears throat> so... The man went and actually got in the pool of Siloam. He even brought his bubble guppy bubble bath with him. <laughs> oh boy. He washed him between his toes and washed behind his ears and even washed his eyes off. The point is, is when he rinsed off, he could see Jesus had healed him. He was so happy, he started to floss. Something like that. Anyways, right there in the pool, he was flossing. That's the little dance for you uh, you older people out there. That's the new dance. It's called the floss. <laughs> Get your kids to show you. Okay, anyways, back to the Pharisees. So, the Pharisees were religious leaders at the time. They saw this guy and didn't know what to think. They looked at each other and they said, Great googly moogly. They asked him, How did you get healed? He told them about the mud and that Jesus healed him. But these Pharisees were about as smart as a walnut. <laughs> That's right. They still didn't even believe it. So they went to the one source they knew that could give him an answer. They asked his mom and dad. Oh boy, he's in trouble now. But you know what they said? They said, he's a grown up. Go ask him. Don't ask us. He can tell you the truth. So, these goofy Pharisees, they did. These guys in their fancy little robes, <laughs> they actually boot scooted back over to that little booger's house and they asked him again. He was like, look, what do you want me to say? I don't know anything about Jesus, but I do know one thing. I was blind and now I see. Is that good enough? Again, they asked him, What did he do to you? 
How did he open your eyes? Can you believe these guys? How many times do they have to ask the same stinking question? The man turns at them and said, I've already told you, but you don't listen very well. And then he said, oh, I get it. I know why you want to hear the story again. It's because you also are interested in following Jesus. That's why. Oh, boy, these Pharisees did not like that. They were angrier than a rattlesnake. Boy, that's angry about something. Their faces looked like they had drank too much prune juice. <laughs> they started yelling, and boy, they were yelling like me. Ma yells at me when I didn't clean my room. Except even worse, they told him something like, we know all there is to know about the Bible, and we don't see this Jesus guy anywhere. And that's when this booger let them have it. He said, well, duh. Well, that's my translation, of course. Duh. But seriously, he said, well, that's real surprising, you see. Jesus healed him, and only God could do that. So you know something? That's all he needed to know. So you know what the Pharisees did when they heard that? You think they saw the point? You think they got it? You think they understood what was going on? Nope. They insulted him. They kicked him out. And fortunately, Jesus came by and saw that little booger and became a believer in Jesus Christ for the rest of his life. The funny thing is, is that we started out with this blind booger not being able to see. But in the end, he could see. And those Pharisees were the ones that could not see. Maybe they needed some mud too. Yeah, yeah, maybe they needed some mud. What's the difference? One of them was spending time with Jesus. Because of that, he was blind and now he sees. And when you spend more time with Jesus, you can see a whole, whole, whole lot more clearly yourself. Then, I guess that was a decent enough story in those words. They didn't really match his story too well. But anyways, that's the story of the blind booger. Thank you for joining Nerdo's Tales. You have a great day.